Hey there. Today's shave is going to feature some nice cream like Barrister and Man Bay Rum. This will be my second time trying it. It will feature a nice blade inside here. We have a feather. <clears throat> I have some sinus things going on, so I may be clearing my throat a few times. But uh, there's a feather in there. This is one of my favorite razors, the Parker Variant. And uh, we'll slip this right on top. We'll make sure that if this is your first time with this razor, you, there's a notch on the top and the bottom of the two pieces. There's nothing over here. And that lets you know you've got it right because since this is an adjustable one, it's important the orientation of the sky. Tighten it down all the way. And then I'm going to back it off to a, to a two setting. <clears throat> Sometimes I can go with a three for my cheeks and a two down here, but I just feel like I started it out with a two. I have had, uh, this is the actual Barrister and Man soap. The color of it is kind of a little beige. It's been moistened a little bit. Did not like it the first time I tried it. Um, I At the time I thought that the, I didn't know anything about the Kind of the standard bay rum scent. Uh, I thought it was more of a rum scent um, instead of a clove type scent. And uh, when I first tried this, the clove was so strong in my nose that I clove. I do not like clove, and so I don't like it in my food. Don't like it in my shaving cream. And I just smelled so much of it in here that it. It. I. I was like I wasted my money. Um, uh, but I decided to keep it around. And since my nose was stuffed up tonight, um, I decided, hey, let's try this guy again because I may not be able to smell him as much. And it is a good soap. Uh, the performance of this soap is really good. Uh, and so that's why I kind of have it around. Um, plus, I thought, you know what? Things change over time. The, the way you smell it, what you appreciate, could be in the winter months. Um, this... Uh, this type of fragrance is maybe right at my alley, what I what I feel like that morning, you know? Who knows? Especially if somehow the clove starts to change and become less uh, in my perception of this uh, scent, then it may become uh, a very enjoyable one for me. Um, my uh, favorite brushes... Uh, for the last while, I've uh, come from Whipped Dog, and this is a silver tip badger. And I'll go ahead and start uh, loading this brush over there on the windowsill. We have uh, a little block of alum on the uh, rare occasion of a cut. I've changed my angles um, when I first started out shaving. I thought the blade really kind of needed to be parallel with the skin. And then that would kind of make the handle kind of perpendicular with the skin. And then you close the handle angle until uh, you started cutting. Uh, and that's how I started for the first mm, year or so. And I got a sampler pack of some, uh, previous to that I had the Vanderhagen, Vanderhagen blades. And, uh, I'm going to assume that this is probably going to be enough. The Vanderhagen blades were, weren't were too sharp. And so that uh, was passable. But then once I got a hold of an assortment with uh, some sharp blades like Feather and Astra and Treat um, and some others, I discovered the, the, <laughs> the nicking of the face. I would average maybe uh, two small nicks per uh, shave, which is not really a big deal because you get your stick to pencil out, dab dab, heals it right up. Um, so there is the loaded brush, and I believe that's going to give me enough uh, lather. Well, you know what? Since I don't like this quite as much, just put a little bit more on there. 
I recognize that there's a lot of people out there who love this type of fragrance. I mean, every manufacturer has a Bayron scent. Um, the first time I tried Colonel Conk's Bay Rum, I didn't like it. And then somehow a few days ago, I tried it again and I identified it with the uh, Old Spice fragrance that I hadn't smelled in a while. And instantly the scent changed and I really enjoyed that Bay Rum. Maybe that'll happen with this one. Okay, that's got to be enough. Let's not play around too much. Um... Okay, the Dollar Tree dog bowl that I use for making lather, I'm going to put a little water in there because I know I'm going to use at least that much. Um, I might give myself a head start with the lather. You know, there's that dry method that uh, where you start out super dry and then you just so gradually add water. I mean that's I think that's a great way to learn. A great way not to do something not to mess up your lather, because I know that I had plenty of lathers where I uh just added too much water to it. But uh I got an idea of I think I added probably right now maybe a a teaspoon. Teaspoon yeah, a teaspoon and a half maybe of water in there. And I know it's not going to be enough, but I just wanted to make absolutely sure I didn't add too much. Yeah, I'm not smelling the clove quite as much. Of course, half my nose is clogged up, so that may have something to do with it too. So we have got already a very uh, thick lather that is going to need some more water to before it starts to explode saw the guy doing a couple of tutorials for the uh, sterling soap methods and he used the word explode and i understood that because as you're adding water to the to the brush and to the bowl or your hand whatever you're lathering up in there is a point where you add a little bit of water and then it just radically changes. I am liking this thickness and I, I love the, the attribute of the thick lather. I mean, you can, you can have it be thin and it looks kind of nice and it spreads and you've got tons of it and it's light and fun and you've got peaks, but I love it when I lay it on my face thick and Feels like a warm blanket. Insulative properties and things like that. And that fragrance is definitely coming. Uh, yeah, I've got some nice peaks inside the bowl. They're, they're not tall peaks yet. using distilled water I haven't tested um, pretty sure the first time I used this I did may have had distilled water but my home water is hard and so I've recently started switching to distilled water for all my lathers because there are some soaps where it makes a huge difference um, I discovered that uh, Razor Rock soaps perform equally well in my hard water or the distilled water. Oh, yeah. There was one of those, uh, those peaks that was kind of long and, and stringy, like, like I've seen on a couple of videos. Um, yeah, we're getting there. Therapeutic mixing of the lather, shaving of the face. I know that uh, lawn mowing very therapeutic for me and a lot of people. And uh, sometimes my wife and I have to fight about who gets to mow the lawn. 
Reminds me of an old King of the Hill episode where uh, Bobby had, you know, done something and uh, his dad had to discipline him and Hank, Hank said, you are not allowed to mow the lawn for two weeks. If you don't know that show, then you won't get that joke. All right, we've got a good quantity of lather in here. Plenty enough for, plenty enough for three passes plus. And it's, uh, it's got a nice thickness to it. It's got a nice sheen. You know, maybe the, this is a, one of the higher cost soaps, and this may be why. It's got a much better sheen on it than a lot of the other ones I've tried lately. One, one thing about it, when you, if you like your lathers thick like I do, and you work at them this long. Oh yeah, that is beautiful. Um, you mix them every night, your your arm, because <laughs> there's more drag in the bowl, and your uh, when you got a light lather, you don't have as much resistance. When you have a thick lather, you you do. Imagine uh, if I keep lathering up like this and shaving. In this way and you know give me a year and my right shoulder and forearm are going to be disproportionately large all right i got tons of great looking lather so let's just quit with that that's great love the long handle because of my big hands um, much easier to grab than their their normal size handles which i was still happy with okay not doing a pre-shave today, it just didn't work out that way um, in terms of sometimes I'll splash on the uh, the bloom water that was on the soap. So we'll just go with a, uh, oh, you know what? Hey, let's try this. I'll just take my fingers in some of the um, kind of dried soap that was in the top of the thing here. And I'll, I'll do that on my face down there and rinse and I'll be back with you. I tell you what, the scent is very holidays. It's very possible that I might want to bring in this scent when I Christmas comes around. Because of all the I don't know, you know, things like nutmeg or clove and spice, those are holiday, you know, that's what people use to mess up my apple juice, <laughs> my cider <laughs> in the holidays. I don't, I don't like those flavors in my, on my beard or in my hot beverage. Nice and thick. I like it. This is maybe the uh, sixth use of this brush, so it's not quite as soft as my other ones. My other ones feel like magical puppies dancing on your face. Um, I like to put down some of those thick lines there for the razor to get. Um, I'm also a cold water shaver, so I um, that affects, don't have to wait on the hot water. I don't have to try to keep hot water in the, in the sink or use some kind of scuttle. All right, the razor is set at the right depth. It's got wet. So what I'm looking for here, my personal goal in this shave, um, this is either the third or fourth use of this feather. And yesterday I used my Mercure 38C HD Barber Pole. And it 
uh, it did not get my problem neck hairs right here after the third sh third pass um, and feathers usually do that for me and so this is one of my favorite razors uh, it usually performs better than the 38 uh, it feels better than the 38 I like the way it's in my hand as well as the way it's on my face um, and so I'm going to be very interested to see. This is either the third or fourth use of this blade. I'm interested to see how it treats that um, without me having to do a touch up. Um, I'm saying that so that you will know, but also so that maybe I won't forget. I'm trying to stay as parallel. Oh, that's so smooth. You do hear some feedback, but it's the nice kind. It's the, I just cut a bunch of hairs kind of feedback. Cracks me up that the cartridge razors that they're, that are out on the market are being the way they're being marketed, it's got a it's got a ball on it and it pivots and twists and all that. How bad are the men out there? Who can't make their razor pivot around their own contours? I mean, to me, it's like a shaver with training wheels, and so I don't know why guys are liking that. Excellent. Oh, that felt so good. I tried some uh, Rapiras the other day. It was the Swedish steel. Not good, not good. The first, the first shave with it was uh, was okay, but they just deteriorated quickly. And that first pass with, with them was so uncomfortable. Not so with the feather. Um, feels great. All right, let's prep for a uh, cross grain pass. I'm gonna go down and rinse. All right, done rinsing, and I felt the money as I was rinsing the slickness of this shaving cream was so evident that's that extra five bucks right there or you know that's impressive I um, I think I, I wish I would have found more sense as I browsed their catalog and the things they had on Amazon I didn't it wasn't like uh, chiseled face and uh, uh, and sterling where I was able to see quite a few fragrances the scents that sounded really good um, I just got the uh, bay rum and I got the Leviathan really like the Leviathan performance wise and scent wise um, so I uh, wow that was the, the, the closeness of the shave is really good we're talking feather here you know but then the slickness was still there and even now even now it's there i didn't rinse all of it off i i'm guessing that that's what you're not supposed to do because you want to have that slickness there i've been i've been shaving with this premium stuff now for since uh february January, December, something like that. Um, you know, nine months ago, maybe nine months now. I'm just gonna just do this, the wiping, the painting motion instead of the scrubbing at this point. I believe I've heard reputable people say that the scrubbing isn't quite as necessary on the second and third passes. I 
I'm kind of starting to dig the smell, I'm afraid. Saw a uh, forum post today where the guy said that, uh, cross grain, uh, where the guy said he liked the German street, J-E-R-M-Y-N, uh, from Taylor of Old Bond Street. But that it was so, like, citrusy and stuff that he did not think that he would like it come the fall and winter. That's one of my favorite, uh, favorite Taylor fragrances. I'd probably wear it in both environments, but this scent is really kind of taking my brain away. To, uh, like a log cabin in the woods. Uh, we're doing cross grain. Um, so that's why I did that, but now that we're on my neck, my hair goes down and to a point right here. Here it kind of does the same thing and then it trails off that way. Here it goes across uh, that way. So right in this bottom section here, a vertical is a cross grain. A diagonal over here is a cross grain. And then over here it's all nutty and crazy. So smooth. Adam's apple is a tender spot. Yesterday I got a little razor burn right there. But the uh, witch hazel took care of it. I've got the uh, Thayer's witch hazel formulation. With uh, aloe added in. And no alcohol and uh, uh, fragrance free didn't want it to get in the way of my shaving cream or whatever oh man that's a nice shave just a two-passer with a feather you know a good razor and a feather it feels good so my cheeks are done in my opinion um, my Trouble area here. Some of them may have been cut, but I'm going to need to. Uh, they kind of go this way, and so I just did a pass coming this way, and so next pass, the touch up here will come from the bottom and go up diagonally, and hopefully that will be what I need to not have to do any more like invasive passes. Or I don't like to do against the grain passes. They they irritate my skin. I'll be right back after I rinse. All right, so um, third pass. I am going to uh, not bother with my cheeks. Didn't really want to like this smell, but I think I'm starting to. Guess there's well come you know there's some movies that you watch some less so TV shows but movies that you watch that you can't stand at first but you learn to appreciate different aspects about them you learn more about uh, the movie um, or maybe even a sport when you first see it for the first time you think ah oh, it's boring but then you learn more nuances about it and it becomes interesting maybe that is what is happening with this fragrance I am starting to smell more about it. Smell more about it. All right. And it's becoming more interesting. I'm going to come from the bottom up this direction to do my second cross grain pass. Now I wonder if I should change my setting. If I should change it to a three to be more aggressive, 
You may because see the two passes that I've done haven't gotten those hairs. Should I do be more aggressive or since this is soft skin, eh, I'm going to keep it at a two. I think I've done this at a three and yeah, I've gotten some razor burn. So, hey, but if you see my point, um, maybe that there are certain areas of soft skin where you, where a mild setting just doesn't get to the hairs quite well or something like that. If you understand my point, you, you kind of have some knowledge to share, please. Uh, jump in the contents, the comments there. Now right here, this is against the grain. By going up right here, which is why I went across. But now down below, the vertical is a cross grain. Let's uh, stretch my skin out. Give me the best chance of getting those goes. Without irritation, I just, I would rather have a little bit of stubble right there than doing against the grain pass and get irritation like every, every day, you know. But I hope to find a combination of blade and razor and to a lesser degree soap that uh, lets me do that without irritation, maybe even without even having to do a complicated touch up where I had to try to have to try to remember everything. Oh, got a tiny little bleeder right there. That soft skin, man. I guess it just jumps up into the blade every once in a while. It's so small it may quit on its own. Let's see if the this is the ah, this will be my first time to see if the witch hazel by itself can uh, can fix that. I don't know if it's supposed to. Um, I think it I think it has those properties, so we'll give that a shot. Oh, oh we got another one right here. That's a bigger one. I don't feel as much irritation. I bet I'll feel it when I splash water on it. Um, but let's let's take a look at the results. Oh, happy results. That looks good. That looks good. A little bit of irritation with the cross grain pass. Um, maybe I should have held my skin tighter. I'm not sure. But uh, there's those guys right there. I've got my Allen block. But I'm just going to try the Witch Hazel and see if they if that fixes it up. But hey, I'm done. Um, the third pass was basically a touch-up with strategic um, directional things going on in this area. A little bit less important over here because the hair just grows a little easier to get to. I don't know. Um, so that's nice. I like that. Uh, so that, uh, that proves to me that the feather, it performs better for my skin when it is in the Parker variant than the Mercure 38C HD. Um, at least at this setting. Now next time, yeah, maybe when I do my first pass, maybe if I did this at a three, who knows, maybe I'd be cut more. I don't know. All right. I am going to uh, rinse this off. Um, be right back. All right, back from the rinse. And it felt so slick, so smooth, um, that uh, it, it instantly made me think that the little bit extra money was well spent on this particular uh, shaving cream. Um, it uh, now... Uh, I'm comparing it with maybe Taylor of Old Bond Street or something like that. I'm almost certain that that is not as slick as this. I mean, this feels like spa slick or something, you know? Um, and so, in that sense, I think most of the Taylors are maybe $15 per tub. Where the, uh, I think Barrister is, what, $20 a tub? So, if I were able to get six months of shaves out of it, I haven't figured it out yet how many I can get out of it. But if I got that many, five dollar, an extra five dollars stretched over that, I think is probably money well spent. So if you could afford the extra to get the Barrister and Man soap, then uh, at this point, in my experience, I'd say do it. I'm, 
I bet this scent is going to grow on me, and I'm just going to like it. Uh, all right, so we're going to try the witch hazel and see what that does to to these little guys. Um, I think some people were saying the witch hazel was the uh, little bit of an antiseptic, and then another person said, "No, it's not." So I don't. I'm not sure. Do your own research there. Uh, it's under the captain. I'm going to grab the witch hazel right quick. All right. I put my witch hazel in a spray bottle. I'm just going to inspect it. Yeah. Don't know what I expected to find, but just want to check. I don't know if you're supposed to put it in a spray bottle or not. Um, but uh, I like the spray bottle because I, it probably uses less product. It'll stretch it out farther. Um, and it applies it on your face kind of evenly. And you don't have to do as much rubbing on your face. And so if I have had a kind of a rough shave, then this is much nicer than splashing it on my face and then trying to rub it all over the place. All right. There we go. Let's see if it does anything to these uh, little guys right there now. I'll kind of make sure it gets evened out among... I can feel it. Uh, I can feel it uh, tingling in the a uh, little bit of a uh, little bit of sting in a few of the uh, razor burn type areas, but uh, yeah, we'll see if it takes care of those little bleeders. Um, I've heard the terms bleeders used and weepers. I don't know the difference. Um, all right, that's excellent. So. Uh, Barrister and Man Bay Rum, Parker Variant Adjustable Razor, Feather Blade, excellent combos, great shave. Um, you know, surely getting this area down here with a, a higher aggression setting is not the right way to go after I think about it. So uh, Maybe next time I'm coming at it with a feather in this region, maybe I should back it down to 1.5 or 1 instead of the 2. Today was all 2 all the time. And, uh, and so maybe lowering the setting for this specific region will help me not to get cuts in the future. Yeah, looks like the witch hazel is doing all right. Um, just let that go, see what happens. All right, so I'm really happy with that combination. And I'm also kind of happy that I'm learning to like the Bay Rum fragrance. Um, I, at least my pocketbook is glad I am. Uh, so that it doesn't go to waste. Maybe in the winter when it's super cold, something like this will have a different effect on your brain. You know, looking forward to trying that out and seeing what happens. All right. Well, I'm going to seal this guy up. This is the uh, tub of Bay Rum. From Barrister and Man. And I don't think there's much else to talk about. Hopefully the information in here was helpful to somebody. Um, maybe looking at these combinations or one of the pieces that I used. You just wanted to see it in action or something like that. So, hey, take care. I'm back. After a second or two of being off camera, I looked at these guys and I thought, you know what? I don't think the Witch Hazel is built is made to take care of the larger type cuts. So the witch goes away for a moment and Gentleman John comes on. Just get this a little wet. Haven't used it too many times, but I've seen other people use I stayed in a Holiday Inn Express last night. I've seen other shaving gurus use it. Just kind of now they rub it all over their face as an astringent in place of something like the uh, the witch hazel. But I'm just doing a focused area to to stop that bleeding. And so far, it's been very effective. The few times I've used it, you have to make sure you dry it though. Uh, dry it completely uh, on a towel or something before you put it back in its case. It's a, it's, it is a salt. It's not the salt like we use with our food, but it's a salt. And so it will degrade and dissolve and de uh, disintegrate if you leave it in the presence of water. 
And that guy is pretty much stopped bleeding. Everybody's happy. I think you do have to rinse off the um, the alum. I don't think you need to rinse off the witch hazel, but I do think I should do the alum. Anyway, I'll do that, and uh, and there we go. Thanks for watching.